Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my videos. I have a new channel called Techie Daily where I'm posting regular videos on technology tips, tutorials on various web design, graphic design and uh, various software solutions for the beginners. So uh, you will find all the details about my channel and the address on the description of this video. Please check it out and uh, please subscribe to my video and uh, let's continue to this video. Thank you. On this picture, this is a bit more difficult because uh, the first image, this one, it has a white background and it's much more easier to remove that background and make it transparent. But on this one, it's very complicated because there are a lot of different background elements. And now if I uh, select the fuzzy select tool, it, it's, going to, uh, it's going to go crazy. It thinks that uh, it, it wants to uh, pick up this this areas too. So I'm going to show you how to make this one transparent. So it will be a little bit more work, but at the one at the end it's going to be worth it. Okay. So let me just select it and uh, select none. Okay. So uh, the first thing is uh, I want to get rid of all the background. So to do this, uh, just go to uh, right click on the original image and click add alpha channel okay now uh, pick up the eraser this one is the eraser eraser tool and now if you see if I uh, drag it over you can see that I can erase this part okay this is a cool thing okay just uh, click here and uh, increase the size of the eraser. Let me select this one and uh, select size. This one is set to 20. Let me select it to 500. Okay, this is bigger, bigger now. And now if I click here, I can drag and uh, remove this extra part, the unnecessary parts that I don't want. Okay. Okay, if you have a very large image and uh, it's uh, it's making it very problem for you, you can also try this. Just uh, click here, rectangular select tool. Just click here and drag a part like this one. And now just uh, edit and uh, cut. This part you can uh, delete a large chunk of your picture with this technique. Okay, now uh, let me just uh, erase it again. Okay, so uh, let me uh, pick this part inside my right underarm uh, let me select the fuzzy select tool and select this part and you can see that my arm has been uh, the part of my arm has also been selected so i can just hit control and it will show up a minus symbol if you can see that there's a minus symbol and i can remove the selection okay and then i can also select shift key and add the selection okay it shows that when I uh, try to add, it adds up the hand, arm, my arm. So let me just remove this part. Remove, 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 remove. Okay, maybe I have to uh, decrease the threshold. Okay, so this part is selected. Let me hit delete. And.
say now I can do some more work and get rid of the leftovers. So uh, let me go to layer and new layer. Let me name it background. It's already named background. Okay. And now uh, give it a white background. Select white. Okay. And select the bucket tool and then drop it over here. Okay. Now uh, select that background and uh, click here. Okay. The background is behind. And now, now you are going to see where there are the bits which is not working. What are the bits that's not working? Uh, they are, uh, which doesn't look good. You can see that there are a lot of uh, pixelated effects because of my rough work. Let me just erase them pick the brush oh then the control set I have to select this layer the image layer okay Okay, now uh, just uh, remove the background layer over here by clicking on the eye icon here and now you have your transparent image you can add a different background over here and it will uh, you can uh, do your Photoshop magic image editing magic just go here file and uh, click on export as and let me enter export let me name it Tamal Transparent and uh, make sure you save it on PNG format, PNG format. Otherwise, the uh, transparent effect won't look out. Click on export. Okay, so if I now go to that folder, okay, so this is my picture with no background, and this was my first picture with background. So this is how you have learned how to make your image transparent. Hey guys, thanks for watching and if you like this video, you will also love all the new videos I'm posting on a regular basis on my new channel called Tech Daily. Please head over to my new channel and you will find all the links and in the description. So I'll see you on the new channel. Thank you. Bye.